Yeah, my name is Ned Wilcock. As you can plainly see, I play the bass. Um, a lot of people just don't appreciate the nuances of the bass. Everybody's all like, guitar, guitar, guitar. They think the, the, guitar, the guitar should be the lead instrument of the band. No, the bass. The bass should be the main instrument of the band. The bass has that power, it has that punch, that, that gravitas that's really going to just draw people in, you know? If you've just got a lead guitar as your main instrument, then, you know, what difference is that going to be to the people watching? You're going to be like every other band. Well, I mean, I mean, if you want to have good sound, you've got to have a beautiful instrument. That's what I always say. I mean, just, just look at this guy. Look at this. I mean, it's got, like, this, this pattern on the body, and it's got this barbed wire inlay going up the fretboard, which is super metal. Um, I don't like metal. Metal's stupid. But it's still super metal, and that's really cool. All the chicks love it. Had to give up eating at Taco Bell for a month for this baby. Look at that. No, no, I haven't named my instrument. I mean, that's stupid. I call my bass Ibanez SRX 520 EX1. That's what it is, okay? Like, naming your instruments, especially like having a girl's name, that's just a way for, you know, lonely people to make themselves feel better. For guys who don't have girlfriends or well, guys who care about the fact that they don't have a girlfriend. I mean, I, I don't care. I don't even care. It's stupid. It's, it's just stupid. No. Well, my main technique, sort of like my signature technique, is I always play with two capos. You see, on the neck here. It's like drop D, but better, because then I can still play regular chord formations. Like that, you know? I can still play regular and still have that. Oh yeah, listen to that. That's good stuff. It's cool. It sets me apart from everybody else, you know? I don't really listen to bands unless the lead singer is also the bassist. Mostly I just listen to Primus, because Les Claypool is, objectively, he's like the, the best bass player who's ever lived, you know? I appreciate the Beatles as artists, but I always just like go and isolate it so you can't hear George Harrison or John Lennon. No guitars, you just hear Paul McCartney on that bass, and it's good stuff. That's the only way that I listen to the Beatles. Do you guys have any, any more of these? <laughs>